The one-time junior hockey coach pleaded guilty to assaulting former players. Those victims say the crime has scarred them for life. It's been an emotional day at the law courts, and that's where CTV's Caroline Bargut is tonight. Hey, Caroline, did Graham James have anything to say for himself? Gord, actually he did. It's the first time we've seen Graham James in person in years. It's also the first time we've heard him speak. He stood up and addressed the court. He looked a lot older and a lot thinner. First, he apologized to Canadian hockey fans, then to the communities he worked in and the people he worked with. And lastly, he said, I'm sorry to Theo Fleury and Todd Holt, the other victim, who up until today, we didn't know his identity. Down in front, right centers at the score. He was 15 years old when Graham James took him under his wing. Todd Holt wanted a future in hockey and thought James could give him that. Instead, what he got was years of sexual abuse at the hand of his mentor. James was convicted of sexual assault in December. At a sentencing hearing, Holt told the court what was done to him. I emerged a broken, battered young man who had lost everything. My innocence, motivation and soul. I will never know what I could have ever been. I want peace and justice. By his side, other survivors, Greg Gilhooley and Sheldon Kennedy, who offered their support. Most of the crimes that they commit, they don't even get a, they don't even get a sentence at all. So, um, you know, that, that absolutely needs to change. And I think the justice system needs to get caught up to where we are with the prevention and the awareness. I felt lost, alone and helpless. Theo Fleury delivered his victim impact statement from Vancouver, where he's fighting for stricter rules for convicted child sex offenders. The pain was all encompassing. And no matter how many NHL games I won, or money I made, or fame I gained could dull the pain of having been sexually abused by Graham James. But the defense says James is rehabilitated and is not the beast he's been portrayed as. Evan Breutenberg painted a picture of a different man, one who had a tough upbringing as a homosexual growing up in a military family. And until only recently, he says, did James even realize what he had gotten from his victims wasn't consent, but compliance. For his actions, James says he's sorry. First, he apologized to Canadian hockey fans, then to the communities he worked in and the people he worked alongside. Lastly, he had words for Fleury and Holt. I wanted the best for you. I did not give you my best. He added, parents expected their sons to be safe. Not all were. He finished up by saying, for my behavior and my actions, I am deeply sorry I was wrong. The Crown is asking for six years jail time. The defense is asking for a community sentence. Evan Reutenberg says Graham James should serve 12 to 18 months in the community, likely under house arrest. So Caroline, when are we expecting a decision? Well, Marilee, the court lasted all day long. The sentencing hearing started around 10 o'clock and just let up about 15 minutes ago. The judge has reserved her decision until March 20th. And at that point, we expect to know if he will get jail time or a community sentence. Thanks for this, Caroline. CTV's Caroline Bargut reporting tonight. And we have.